Yo, it's showtime. I'm back with another bank tutorial. This time, I'm going to show you how to make this. It's an automobile style um, kick and offbeat trance bass line <clears throat> that is just heavily distorted. And I hope you will learn from me today and you'll learn something new because it's really interesting to see the process of making the bass. I'm sure you incorporate something into your own mixes. Let us begin with this kick. It's just like a normal um, side trance, like kind, kind of style kick, or you can just put a little bit of saturation on it. You can probably put like a medium curve on this. And I've just scoped out a little bit of 400, 500, 500 hertz where it gets a little bit um, messy. And then I've just got a little top layer here. It's quite quiet and I just got a crash. Which just hits on the transient and that just kind of gives it that fuzzy distortion. Into the bass, that was kind of quick, but actually no. Um, into the, the actual processing of... Um, the, the kick and bass itself. I just said a little um, 20 hertz high pass and then some drum bass, no crunch, but um, all the way up on the damp dampening of the frequency range and a little bit of drive. That's it. And then make sure I set my bass to mono. That's all I care about. And I've also got this EQ here. That's just, it's just in my um, template. Go download my template. If you want to make some bangers, you want to make some trance bangers and you can kind of um, copy all, all these guys. I can copy my stuff if you want. And I found that making um, tracks from a template just speeds up my workflow so much. So I've got that linked in my download and it is free as well. So hopefully guys invest free dollars into that. In my bass section, single bass. So this was a bit of a chorus wide bass that he had. Sub is on. Again, there's nothing going on in this. It's just playing the key of A because that's where the bass is usually very fat in the key of A. Hence, it is a A minor track. Sub on, put that to direct out. And then basic shapes, put your triangle oscillator on and set this to two and you chain quite um, close to each other. Again, basic shapes in the second oscillator. Set this to a saw wave. And we're gonna wrap that to envelope two. Put the decay very short, around 300 milliseconds, and then set this to a MG low 24, with a little bit of drive, a little bit of resonance. And then also have your voicing set to mono, that port them into time as well. On your envelope one, which is your amp envelope, I want it to slightly um, decrease the volume at the very end of the note. So that way it gives the, the kick and that, that super loud um, melody room to breathe. So I'll put the decay around 300 milliseconds. That's perfect. Then in my effects section, soft clip distortion. And then I'll set some chorus onto this as well. Just copy my settings here. Uh, a lot, lot of depth, but not that much feedback. But what we do is we can actually set a little bit of depth and then a little bit of feedback to a macro. We can just put like break effects. So yeah, you get some crazy distortion from that. And some crazy breakdown and build up effects just by using that feedback. And then compressor, set um, threshold a little bit above, around 22, and then set the gain up. So it just um, hits for maximum oomph and impact. But I will set um, the one high saturation feature with a soft clip on. And I'm just gonna be driving it a little bit. And then I'm also going to be EQing to have a little bit of bass and then just around the 100 hertz mark, I want the kick to really hit. It does sound louder, but with the kick, the mix gets way too muddy. And I found that also around here, 
I do like a little bit of saturation there. That's kind of cool. And I noticed that any strike as well puts a little bit of delay on. And this is like, I kind of slept on, like go to producer hack. You put uh, delay, set this to three. I don't even know what three is. I just know that three is three. I don't know if it's one sixteenth or one fourth or one eighth. It's three, clearly. It says it here. Ableton says three. It says three. Anyways, feedback, you put this very low and you set the dry wet quite low as well. You just You just want it to just be the back of the mix. And then you don't want any bass that's being um, echoed. You just kind of want it around, say, I'm assuming this is like 300 hertz. Yeah, kind of. So it dips around 300 hertz. Such so a side chain as well. Limiter. I want to, kind of want to push it a little bit. Yes. And that is the bass and how he makes his bass. Sounds so fat. And of course, in the little uh, bass bass group here, I've got a reverse key. Okay, so if you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like, give it a subscribe, please. Yeah, a lot. Check out the project file linked in the description below for free as well. Like always, keep producing music and keep making bangers and experimenting.